Well, here I am at the 8th Annual Ride the Mountain, sponsored by the one and only Big Bear Choppers. This is uh, Saturday. They uh, normally are, uh, they have it on the first Saturday of June, but due to a booking conflict, they were not able to do it. So this is June the 19th <laughs> at Snow Summit. And the crowd is beginning to arrive. It's a little after 8. Uh, this morning they started to uh, set everything up. And they opened at uh, 10 a.m. And boy, they got a lot of vendors. They have over 100 vendors here. I, know, I can't show you all of them. Hey, it's basically, there's so many uh, jewelry, you know, like Cookie League, uh, jewelry, leathers, t-shirts, the things the bikers enjoy and, and uh, wear all the time. And uh, it's a good crowd. Bikers are really neat people, folks. They're uh, so many. You get a few bad apples in the bunch. But overall, they're pretty good. So let's go down. I want to show you some of the choppers that are assembled and made right here in Big Bear at Big Bear Choppers Booth. Well, here we are at Big Bear Choppers Booth. I want to show you uh, their line of choppers. They are beautiful. They are made on Fox Farm Road. And uh, they have worldwide distribution. These are absolutely beautiful. Look at this one. Is these cool? They have various models, which uh, you need to pick. And you know, on the seats are embroidered big bear choppers. But these are just beautiful. Look at them down there. Great. Now, well, big bear choppers. Yo. Big bears own worldwide Correct. distribution. The American dream, as far as Kevin and Mona are concerned. That is very true. You bet. Now, you uh, you do mainly assembly. You manufacture some parts here? We manufacture everything on the bike except the s, &S engine uh -huh. and the Baker transmission. Oh, really? And the rims. Really? But we make everything else right, right to, here at Big Bear. Wow. They used to uh, but buy the forks. No, oh, we Canada, make all that stuff now. But you do it all now. Yep. Helps keep quality control, helps helps us build the bikes faster, helps us have more control over the sure. whole process. Right. Now, um, with the economy is sort of, I mean, I think most of the people who have been laid off are laid off. So I think that we're getting more consumer confidence, yes, and they're beginning to buy the toys and the things. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you, it was a rough year, but things are starting to pick up. We're a little different than most manufacturers because we just build to order, we don't just build them. Somebody has to order the bike. That's right. Then we can make the bike so we can get bigger or smaller on how many orders we get. That's good. Yeah. And it's good employment. Yes. Not only tax, if something's purchased here, the city gets part of the sales tax. That's correct. We still have a lot of dealers throughout the United States and internationally, uh -huh. but you can also, if you live around here, you can buy direct from us if you want, save a little money. That's right, that's for sure. Probably <laughs> not. Uh, I don't see the Athena bike. Uh, actually, there's a there's some there's an Athena Pro Street and Athena Chopper. We don't have Greek Spike here. Yeah, okay. That's down at the shop. Yeah, right. I see it. Well, good. Well, I wanted to congratulate them. We didn't think they were going to have one this year. <laughs> no, we're having booking. <laughs> they normally have it the first Saturday of June, but they had a booking complex. Correct. So we were a little sweating it. But uh, here we are. It's, it's Father's Day's weekend, so it's great for us. And uh, son, Sons of Anarchy will be here later. And it's just a great day. I know, and it's good. Thanks so much. Thank you. And I'll catch up with Mona and Kevin one of these years. They'll be here a little later. Okay, right. thanks. got it down. Yeah, I was telling you about Athena's bike. It's pretty much like this, painting-wise, with the orange and all of that. 
And on the back fender, it had Athena's logo with Athena. It's a very special uh, bike because of uh, Mike the Greek, longtime resident here, longtime owner of Village Music, and he's been with Big Bear Choppers ever since they started. And uh, his daughter Athena lived in the Temecula area and she was in a car and they had a terrible accident and Athena was killed. So Kevin and Mona, who own Big Bear Choppers, decided to uh, design a very special bike and named it Athena, which they'll never sell. They gave it to Mike the Greek and they'll never sell it. It's his bike, but it's on display in their showroom on Fox Farm Road. Isn't that cool? You can see not all of them are choppers here. Here's some Harleys. And most of the bikes, uh, bikers that come up here are Harley riders. There's a lot of choppers, but uh, this is something. Let's go over and look at this one. These bikes are made by Vance Hines. Is he here? Look at that. Beautiful, huh? And then, of course, these are Harleys. Actually, it's Vance Hines performance systems. Because they don't, they don't do... Uh, uh, I don't think they make bikes. They do performance. Well, as the hours go on, the crowds get bigger. Last year they had 15,000 uh, attend here. They're hoping to equal it this year. They have just as many vendors. They don't have the big well-known entertainment like uh, Uncle Cracker and oh, they've had some so the last few years. They've had some big names. But because of the economy, they're sort of slowing uh, down, but they got everything good. It's still going to be really successful. Here's a neat thing. It's called Italian Ice. It's really cool. This is becoming really popular. It's ready. It's like frozen slush, is what it is. But they got all kinds of uh, of uh, varieties like mango. Blue raspberry, big patty, the bomb. And they have cherry, lemon, watermelon. And now something new. You know, Monster is the number one energy drink. Well, now they have Monster Italian Ice. Isn't that cool? This is great. And it has the prettiest girls of all right there. What do you think of this Toyota truck? This is a beaut. This is the uh, official pace vehicle for the Toyota Speedway, which is located at Irwindale, down just off of the, the 210. But isn't this cool? Toyota moving forward. This is an unusual booth. It's called Laser Craft Unlimited. And look what they do. Look, aren't these boxes beautiful? Look at them. Look at here. San Bernardino, Tim Smith, our captain, San Bernardino City Fire Department. Isn't that neat? And if you want to come back by like an hour, the girls are going to make it up. These are beautiful. Okay, thank you. Bye. These are all done with la by laser? Yes. The uh, emblems and also the shirts? Hi. How are you? How are you? Decent something? Yes. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? How beautiful. Now why would... 
Why would uh, Smitty Saloon have it? Oh, I see. Leave guns at the bar. Exactly. Actually, what it is, exactly. it's a wine holder with all the wine attachments there. Isn't that cool? Look at the uh, frames they have here. San Bernardino City Fire Department. Venom Motors. Oh, look at these are for the flags uh, of the military when they're uh, killed and after their uh, services. The flag is folded in this. And those are really neat boxes. These, uh, all of this, the company Lasercraft is located just down in Yukaipa, which is good. They have all of these on the internet by going to uh, Laser, L-A-S-E-R, Laser Craft Fun Unlimited. That's Laser, L-A-S-E-R. I'll point it up there. Laser Craft. And it's Fun Unlimited.com. And you can see how these yeah, motor are over the internet. This is their uh, bandstand. Of course, it has their big banner there. Eight annual Big Bear Choppers right at the back. Bands on a break right now. But they have about three bands that will be playing all afternoon here. It's got a great sound system, very loud. And uh, I'm kind of glad they're not playing right now. It's nice and quiet. Well, before I leave, I want to show you Big Bear's own silver shop. Located in Big Bear City, they manufacture so much of their uh, jewelry out there. Everything on bow ties. Look at the watches. Aren't those beautiful watch bands? Just gorgeous. Oh, these are cool. Look at the cell phone holders. All of the leather, really nice. Love the wallets too, wallets of the West. And the buckles, man. These buckles are just terrific. Look at all these. Well, you're just waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> uh, I just can't resist ever filming because a lot of people don't know we've got a really premier silver shop. That's right. In, in Little Beer City. That's right. Located right next to the, oh, it used to be York. Right next door to the Four Corners Four Church. Four Corners Church now. Yeah. Right across straight from Circle K. Right. It's an easy one. So how long have you been up here? Uh, I've been up here three years. My brother's been up here five years. That's right. Yeah. Now you manufacture a lot of these, don't you? We hand make. We started when we were six years old. Really? Yeah. That is so cool. <laughs> oh, that's really nice. <laughs> the uh, fire opals. Yeah. Yeah, aren't that's they nice? nice? I love those things. Yeah, yeah. look at them. So cool. They are so neat. That's a really attractive bracelet. Yeah. Now, last week, we actually broke ground on our store up here in Big Bear, and we were actually adding 300 square feet to the shop. Yeah, how much that is that bracelet yeah. that with the fire opals? So you broke ground finally. For how many years have you been wanting to enlarge and redo the uh, exterior? It took us three years for the planning, for uh -huh. MAPCO to do all the planning. Uh -huh. And then uh, last year, we tried getting a loan. We could not get a loan. Oh, yeah. This year, we, we went through someone else, and we got the loan. Wow, terrific. And so now we're doing it. Now we're breaking ground. So you're going to expand by 300 square feet. Yes. And then the print's going to be all Western. All Western style building. Isn't that yeah. neat? Uh, Nancy Lee will be coming up here. We're going to have a, re a grand opening. Uh-huh. Nancy Lee will be up here to sing. Oh, really? Yeah. I know Nancy Lee very well. Wow. And uh, we're going to have maybe... We're thinking about having a little barbecue out in the parking lot. Sure. Yeah. So uh, now that you have the financing, how long do you think it'll take you to do it all? By uh, fall? Can you get it done yeah, by fall? Yeah, by, by fall. Uh, probably yeah. uh, around September or so. Right. 
Yeah, you'll do it. Yeah, we ran a little snag uh, last week. The snag we ran into is that we have a gas line that runs up to our, up our driveway. Uh huh. And it goes to our building, but it also goes to the Four Corners Church. Oh, sure. And for us to move the gas meter, we have to pay them sixteen hundred dollars to move the pipe for, for both sides. Oh, I know. And we oh, we don't know if that's legal or right, yeah. but we're going to look into it. Yeah, very good. Well, good. So, now what's the name? Coast Silver. That's right, Coast <laughs> Silver. It's the only place it we... It should be Mountain Silver. It's Coast Silver, <laughs> and we, we're the only one that has the uh, bear ride, uh, riding the bronc. That's right. Well, good. And you're open... Every, every, every day. Every day. Seven it's days a week. Seven days a week. What's your phone number? It's uh, 909-584-8700. Oh, great. 584-8700. That's an easy one. Mm -hmm. But folks, stop by. And your hours are? Uh, probably from 9, nine o'clock to 7. 9 in the morning till 7. Boy, you're chained to that store. And we actually work right there. I know you do. <laughs> it's really cool. A Folks, goodbye. If you're looking for jewelry, particularly silver, and want a, a good price and want to make sure that it is real silver, uh, they're really honest out there. They can really help you. So get on out there to Co Silver right across the street from the Circle K. Not, not only that, the silver, you're not just buying silver, you're buying a piece of art. That's right, you are, yeah. because uh, pretty much one of a kind. It's handmade. Not, not two are absolutely identical. Mm -hmm. They might look alike, but there are differences yeah. with every one. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> well, that about does it here at the Ride the Mountain. Boy, look at these. This is the parking lot for the bikes. Do you think there's a lot of bikers here? You betcha there are. Look at how far down they go. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of bikes all the way down. Isn't that pretty cool? Beautiful bikes too. They're from all over the West. They come here, enjoy it, spend the night. Uh, Friday nights usually, a lot of them are here. Then Saturday nights, leaving on Sunday and leaving a lot of green money for being a tourist. So that's it, now don't go away, I'll be back right after these messages from my sponsors. <laughs>